Hi Leo, welcome to your general tarot forecast for the month of January. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So we're going to take a look here. What is the energy around you for January or this is for whenever you see this. Tell whenever I do consider all the readings on my channel timeless, even though they're dated. So if you'd like to go back and watch previous uh, readings, feel free. A Leo playlist are below in the description box. So let's see what's going on with you, Leo. We're going to get general energies around you. Maybe about love. It may not be. We're just going to take the energies as they come and see what we get here. So the first thing we have here is a Zodiac Oracle. So we could get a sign, element, planet. We'll see what comes out for you. If you don't resonate with what comes out here, totally fine. So let's see what, okay, I guess that's your card. What is around Leo at this time? And we have Mars energy. So this is Aries energy. So this is an energy of being kind of kind of aggressive. Uh, Aries is like that emperor energy. So the Mars energy is sort of, um, it's kind of like that emperor energy um, because it's all about competitiveness, assertion, aggression, courage, confidence. So you may be feeling very confident at this time, really going after something, maybe feeling competitive or feeling like there's competition. Um, really asserting yourself also. So we'll see how that plays into your reading. Or you could have an Aries around you in some way, or you could have Aries in your chart or have a lot of fire in your chart. So let's see what's going on with you, Leo. The decks are listed below if you're interested in knowing uh, what decks I'm using. And um, also a lot of stuff down there in the description box, uh, personal reading information, uh, social media. I do readings on Instagram in uh, playlist, all sorts of stuff. So please feel free to check that out. So let's see what your opening message is for Leo at this time. That one. So we have between two worlds. So we have three. Three is a number of like working on something, working or working together with people, um, teamwork, collaboration, or really, you know, learning a new craft or working diligently on something, trying to learn something new. So you may feel like you're trying to go after something new but you're still stuck in a past energy or in a current energy but you're still like trying to move forward in a new direction even though you're still stuck in uh an energy so let's i just want to read a little bit about between two worlds here so we have transitions exactly not being quite out of one situation and fully engaged in another. Temporary blindness, no man's land. So you may feel like, you know, you're stuck between, you know, stuck between two worlds. You're trying to move forward in another direction, but you're st still stuck and bound to something else. And you can't quite make that trans um, transition yet. Because I feel like wherever you are now, you're feeling like it's black and white. Maybe a very bored, stagnant energy. And you're really you're ready for something new, something fun, vibrant, colorful, something like new in your life. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have to the sea and we have seven here, which is a very divinely guided number. So I feel like you're going in the right direction. And to the sea is, you know, about everything falling into place, uh, going with the flow, things just flowing. And I think I have that in your um, spirit messages. And actually, I wanted to pull... Um, before we do that, I wanted to pull, you know what, I'm going to put this card here. I made a little boo-boo. That's okay. So to the C. So now on the bottom of the deck, we have clean it up. So I feel like three, again, two and one, three. So I feel like you're, you're trying to clean up, I don't think a mess, but you just want to clean up, like, whatever situation you're stuck to now. It's like you just want to clean it out of your past. You just want to clean it up. You just want to be rid of it. You just, I don't want to say throw it away, but you're ready to like just move on from it. Like you just want to clean that out of your energy. Just clean it out already so you can transition. And I feel like wherever you're going to transition to, because you see, you see water energy here and then you see the water energy here. So you're almost to this energy of going to the sea. So you're almost, you're almost there, you know, making that transition. Um, so you can, you know, clean that energy out of your past because you feel, you feel this very blah and like dim kind of 
energy here. So, and I feel like wherever you're going, it's like just going to flow for you and it's just going to come naturally. Um, things will just go effortlessly because the go to the sea here is all about things just um, going with the flow and moving, I know, effortlessly. So let me just read a little bit uh, about to the sea. Being in flow, returning to source, recognizing how pieces fit together, a natural pattern of events. So this is just going to fall into place naturally, even though, you know, you're feeling stuck right now. I think you're really trying to tidy up, clean up all the energy here in this transition. So let's see. Let's see your current energy. What is this about? For Leo, please, at this time, Spirit, thank you so much. So we have the five of wands. So conflict uh, kind of energy. And we have death. Yeah, so I feel like you may be feeling, you know, a little conflicted about this. You know, it could be competition, conflict. Um, but death here is all about ending something so there can be transformation. It can be that transition in a new beginning. So... You may be feeling conf conf conflicted because it's not it's it's like you can't get out of whatever situ situation you're in fast enough so you can just flow into this new situation. I mean, whether it's a relationship, a new job, or you know, a living situation, whatever it is for you, and that could be that cleaning up. Maybe you're moving, so you're cleaning everything up, you know, and you know that five of wands can be about conflict, competition, inner conflict. So I feel like, you know, you just want it to happen already. So what else? So the four wants and <laughs> just said, maybe you're moving and that is the home, uh, <laughs> home card. So some of you definitely could, could be moving here, moving homes. Maybe you're moving, uh, by the water to, the, you know, near the ocean or something like that. Maybe you're moving across the waters. <laughs> As I said, I get the two of wands. So again, you know, making plans and decisions uh, for the future. So what else do we have here for Leo? I feel like making big moves and changes. Feeling a lot of fiery passion energy here, which is your energy. And we have the Page of Cups. So um, this could be apologies, loving communication coming in of some kind. Um, All right, so let's see. It could be, you know, maybe you have a child. Maybe you're moving with your child for some of you. So what do we have here? So we have the high priestess and the fool. So maybe you're taking a leap of faith, a new start here. Maybe you're not telling anyone with the high priestess energy. Maybe you're kind of keeping it, your plans to yourself. You know, if you're moving or uh, something like that with your child or something, uh, I feel like maybe you may be <clears throat> not telling anyone that you're planning this new leap of faith. And that's that transition of like cleaning up whatever you're stuck in. And maybe you, you have to wait till that is totally resolved and you can totally transition out of that and move forward. And then you may tell everyone, okay, this is what's going on. But I feel like you're not telling anybody with the high priestess, you know, it's all about listening to your gut, your intuition, but also, you know, it's the keeper of secrets. So what else do we have here? The emperor. So taking, you know, and there's that Mars energy. So, you know, taking control of your life, I feel. And that's right on the high priestess. I feel like you're taking control of a situation, but you're not telling anybody. Um, very secretive energy here. Or maybe, you know, you're leading someone who's very controlling or something like that. All right, so let's get another one here. The magician, yeah, so manifesting this new beginning here. A lot of major arcana coming out, wow. We got one, two, three, four, five so far. So it's like you're taking an, a leap of faith and manifesting a brand new beginning here, resetting at zero here. But it's like you're not telling anybody how you're you're planning this. It's like you're just doing it on your own. You're taking control of the situation. Wow. So I don't know. Let's get some advice for you, Leo. So we have the three of swords. So yeah, very painful, hurtful energy here. And the five of cups, you know, feeling sad, loss um, kind of energy, hurt. 
So it may have been a third party situation here or something, uh, if it wasn't a third party, could have been something with a friend, relative, coworker that was very hurtful, very, very hurtful. You know, feeling very sad over that, sad and hurt. You know, the Page of Cups here could be apologies. You know, maybe they weren't apologies, but you know, some of you could be planning on changing uh, jobs or leaving your job and you're not really telling anyone. Maybe you're cleaning up your space, but you're not really telling anyone what you're doing um, because you know deep down you're you know, making this move. And as I said, the Knight of Wands falls out. So making fast action travel movement here very passionately. The lovers, so making a decision here making a decision. I feel some of you, a lot of different messages here, so take it as it resonates. Could be leaving a job and planning that and not telling anybody. Something hurtful may have happened there, something deceiving, backstabbing, or something like that. Uh, maybe, you know, two or three people were against you and they did something and it was very hurtful. So you're making plans and decisions, like cleaning up your workspace or whatever to leave but not quite ready yet. Maybe you still have to find another job. Some of you could be sneaking away from a relationship for some reason with a child and making, you know, like plans and not telling anybody or moving. Maybe some of you are planning to move across the sea or to the sea around water and not telling anyone until everything, you know, um, tidies up. Ten of cups. Yeah. Falling out. Not happy. Uh, that's your outcome. You're not happy with whatever situation you're in right now. Ten of Cups is total happiness, joy, fulfillment. You are not fulfilled. Where, where whatever you are now that you're not totally transitioned out of, you definitely are not happy there. You're not fulfilled there with the Ten of Cups in reverse. So what else here for your possible outcome for Leo? Four of Swords. So yeah, there's that, you know, resting, recuperating kind of energy, um, healing energy. In the sun, so there you are, Leo. So your outcome is, even though you're you're unfulfilled where you are, you know this is like re recuperating, um, taking time alone, you know, uh, healing energy. But you will have success and victory here. Happiness and joy will return to you in every single way. And you see the child, child again there on the horse. So. Yeah, whatever you're going to, whatever you're planning here, I feel like you're going to be moving in a better direction here. It's just going to flow. Once it all comes into place, once you can make that transition, it's all going to flow like naturally. If you go back and watch my uh, spirit guide messages for Leo, it was kind of the same message of everything flowing effortlessly and just allowing it. So I would suggest go and watching that video also, especially if you're new and you haven't seen that. So... Um, Actually, let's just go over the bottom of the deck energy here. So justice. So some of you could be divorcing here or doing what's fair, just, and right and what you feel is balanced for you, doing what is right for you. Page of Swords. So you could be keeping tabs on somebody, uh, online research, um, learning something new, you know, speaking with truth and clarity with this communication and cutting away things no longer serving kind of energy. But king or queen coming in your energy here with the king of wands. You know, being fiery, passionate, go-getter kind of energy, standing your ground. Seven of pentacles. So I think, yeah, you're investing in your future and moving forward here. This is a period of waiting with the seven of pentacles before you can move forward to success and victory and balance kind of energy. So... Another period of waiting, but you are strong, confident, fiery, passionate energy. You know, truth, clarity, communication, and doing what's right for you. Here, whether it's something in the justice system or not, something that's fair and balanced and right for you with the justice card here. So, let's see. The signs I see definitely here are Leo. We got Gemini. We got Gemini Virgo. We got Aquarius. We got Scorpio. Uh, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Leo, Sag, Aries, Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Libra, and Leo, Sag, Aries, Cancer. So signs may not mean anything, so don't get too caught up on the signs. But I see 
here that once you can make this transition and whatever it is for you, things are just going to flow easily after that uh, for, for you. I think whatever you're stuck in now, you have to clean up that mess or clean up, tidy it up, whatever it is for you as you're making this transition. And once everything falls into place, everything is just going to flow, flow for you naturally. And success, victory there, happiness and joy with the sun energy. So, Leah, let's get some extra messages for you here with this deck. I do ask Leo if you like how I read. Please do like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell, you won't miss out. I do all kind of readings every month. I do a love connection. I do um, a general tarot like this. I do singles who's coming towards you. I do spirit messages or different themed ones, angel card readings every month. And I do a weekly element forecast. So if you're interested in that, subscribe at the bell, you won't miss out. Thank you. And those who have subscribed to the channel or uh, supported me in any way, thank you, thank you so much. So we have here simplifying your life. I charge the simple pleasures of life. So I feel like whatever you're doing, wherever you're going, things are going to be much more simpler for you. Much more simpler. Making things simple. So are there any other... And you see the <laughs> energy there of cleaning it up again. Wow. I can't make this up. She's got a broom and over here there's a broom. So... <laughs> All right, so let's get any other messages for Leo. Okay, we got two here. Proceeding softly, my inner power grows moment in moments of quiet too. So yeah, I definitely feel like you're growing stronger, more confident, and you're proceeding softly. You're making these plans, and I feel like you're not really telling anyone yet. Maybe you will in the future. And then you have sharing of yourself. I am incredibly generous being there. Exactly. So I feel like once you're able to share this with others, you will. But I think just not right now. Not until everything is more simple. And then on the bottom, we have communicating freely. I communicate from the depths of my being. So again, I, again with the communication. So I feel like once you're able to communi communicate your situation here, whatever you're doing, whatever plans, whatever here, then... And the transition can be made. Everything's just going to go much better for you. It's with the sun energy here. Just kind of flow freely with the seven. Go to the sea. Divinely guided energy for you. And just doing what's best for you. Wow, Leo. Okay, well, best of luck to you, Leo. And I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.